the other issue is, you know, so we have trouble asking in the first place for what we need for a bunch of very good reasons. The other, the other interesting question is often we don't even know what to ask for. We don't know what to ask for. How, oh. biz, how bizarre is that? Well, as I often tell my clients, the hardest thing we're going to do is figure out what you want. I mean, do you want to be single? Do you want to be married? What kind of a person do you want to be with? What kind of friends do you want to have? What kind of environment do you want to work in? How do you want to use your mind? What gives meaning to your life? What's gratifying? I mean, that's the, that's the hard question. Once we know what we want, figuring out how to get it is just a, a strategic plan, basically, that most of us can figure out with a little help. Right. But I think this, what do I want, is hard because even if you figure it out today, it could change tomorrow. Some things happen. Right. And certainly, over time, one reason that probably as many marriages come apart is what the individuals want changes. And if they don't stay in sync with that, pretty soon we have that, we, we live in parallel universes right. thing. So this need to keep current with yourself and knowing what you want is huge and difficult because it, it requires a lot of self-awareness and what, what brings out the best in you. And like, if you're interviewing, and think about the environment. What kind of environment do you want to work in? Do you want a, an environment with light? Do you want other people around because it gives you energy? Do you like space so you can, do you like having your headphones on so you can't hear anything? Those are all things to think about. And often in interviews, you know, think about that. What kind of, what's the space look like? Is this a, a space I'd like to work in? Mm -hmm. Look around. Mm -hmm. Because this is where creatives have, I think, a huge advantage, is use your senses. Because I know there are some environments that I don't, that I don't like. Right. It's a turn off. There's just something about them. You know, right. if, they're, if they're too, for me, if they're too funky, if, if they're too formal. Mm -hmm. And I know there are other environments that I work best in. Mm -hmm. And I work best if there's somebody else around. If I'm left to work by myself, I can dither around quite a lot of time with little games, straightening up things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I know I do better in that kind of an environment. Mm -hmm. But everybody doesn't. Mm -hmm. But it's an important thing to know. So when you're interviewing, look around. Ask if you can walk around. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you want to be there too. Mm -hmm. And that other people look happy. Happy is a good thing. And happy is an energy that you can feel, yeah. especially Creatives who are sensitive I've been by in, nature. I've been in uh, uh, many, many design offices, and one of the things I have noticed is when I walk in the door almost that quickly, I know whether it's a happy office or a sad office. And it's amazing how quickly you pick it up. If I pick it up, I'm sure lots of other people do as well. And, and uh, it's a real turnoff, I'll tell you. You oh, know, yeah. it's like, you know, no wonder they, they don't have the business they should have. No wonder they don't have the clients they should have. Uh, no wonder I got that secret call from somebody <laughs> saying, I want out of here. Can you find me a job with someone else? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's, um, it's, it's, you're aware right away whether it's a happy office well, or a sad office. Well, you are if you're open Aware. to your emotions. Yeah. If you're so tensed up about going in there, you won't see anything. Right. You won't feel it. And that's really what you want to do. You want to kind of breathe the air and feel it. Yep. Because, I mean, you and I are both very essentially aware. So use that. Mm -hmm. And don't let yourself get frozen up by right. trying to get to a quick answer. Right. The Which thing, is our tendency. Yeah, our tendency uh, is let's get let me, let's get me out of here. Let me get let's get me out of here. So the tendency is, and we've talked about this earlier. The tendency is hurry up to close right. because it feels uncomfortable physically. It feels uncomfortable. So we have to know to use that feeling as a signal to actually slow down. Right. 